Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about finding renewal and healing, and that we can do this through the seasons, how these can be a trigger for us to be renewing and placing some attention and intention for our healing. The changing seasons, especially spring, seems to bring about this hope, a sense of fresh start, and a sense of renewal. So today I wanted to leave you with some affirmations for you to try on for yourself and see if they can bring you hope and renewal. I wanted to have these in a quiet way for you so that you could come back to this even and just rest in it rather than feeling like you're gathering more information or trying to find the right thing to do. You could be resting and finding renewal and healing. Spring has always been about that for me. Even when I didn't even know what I was doing, when I reflect back, I can see that I had gone on like little mini retreats, even with, you know, a group of people, and it would be spring around Easter time, renewal, and I think we can really gather some refreshment from putting some of our attention on this time of year, looking at the changes that the earth is going through for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere and even here in Hawaii, like you may not think we have seasons, but we do. And there are particular trees that begin to bloom and fragrances that fill the air that weren't there in the winter. And even now the jacarandas are beginning to start blooming and they are so gorgeous and so unique with, they're so purple and they just fill the sky with these beautiful, beautiful purple leaves and petals, rather. They're beautiful. And it's even gorgeous when the petals don't last, the flowers don't bloom for a long time on this tree. But when they, and then they drop them and the ground is just like a carpet of beautiful purple petals wherever the jacarandas are. And Again, this is a signal to me when I see the jacarandas or the other little plants coming up that are for particular spring or my family back in the Northeast telling me about the crocuses coming up and the greens of the tulips. Like, I don't know. And there's still snow on the ground in one area, but the flowers are still blooming. And I want us to all take a little piece from that today that, you know, even in the snow cover, even in the cold, when it is time, we blossom and we bloom and we can trust that. So let the seasons guide us. You know, we do have a time in other seasons when it's time to be sowing of everything that we planted and other times to be resting. And I think we don't take stock of that so much. We just keep going and going. And it might be interesting, if you haven't before, to actually feel the change of season, to be with it, to see what seasons within you are changing. Where are you getting some healing and some renewal? And where can you find some hope? Many people that I talk to that are struggling with anxiety have lost hope. There's a feeling of this will be with me forever. I will struggle like this forever. I just have to 
learn to cope with it, and you can hear that they have lost hope of having more freedom and more calm in their life. And the reality is you don't have to cope with anxiety the way that we're talking about it here forever. No, you will always have stress and strain in your life. There will always be unforeseen obstacles and issues that arise, but you will know, particularly because you have gone through struggling with anxiety and panic, you will know how to keep your nervous system calm and the feelings of anxiousness and despair that may come with a really challenging situation, you will know how to keep that at a dull roar. You will know that this will not last forever, that you will rise again, and that anxiety doesn't have to mean panic. It doesn't have to mean being down the wormhole 24-7 for the rest of your life and you have to learn to cope with it. Nope. You can learn how to handle your bodily feelings, the sensations, and how to talk to your mind so that your brain can get the idea that you are safe and be able to calm down yet again. The amygdala is not broken. It just is reacting in a way that you need to send it different information. And that's what we talk about here so much. So before I keep talking on and on here, let me get to these affirmations for you to try on and see if they can bring you hope and renewal. Nature provides my greatest inspiration. It is the blueprint for molding myself into a strong human being. The changing seasons remind me that evolution is the key to growth. When I observe the changing seasons, I note how well they signify the value of being multidimensional. Beauty and power can come in the many layers of my identity. Seasons remind me that there is a time for displaying certain personal attributes. When I am feeling oppressed, I should allow the brightness and the longevity of the summer to shine through. I am above being held down against my will. Seeing winter change into spring causes me to reflect on how well I rise out of difficulty. It reminds me that healing is important to moving on successfully. Although the pain from my challenges may seem never-ending, I know that I have what it takes to heal and regain focus. Dwelling in negativity is unhealthy. Like winter into spring, There is a time when renewal is the only way forward. The changing seasons show me that even when making an unpopular decision, I am still worthy. I have a consistent soul that focuses on projecting positive energy, regardless of the circumstances. Although things sometimes look unpretty on the outside, I trust that my intentions are just and honorable. Today, there is as much beauty inside me as there is on any other day. I am aware of who I am and that it is okay to project how I feel without compromising my true self. The changing seasons remind me of my constant beauty. One of the beautiful ways we can find to experience the changing seasons is to end each day with some outdoor time. 
Try these on. See what fits for you. The simple things that I do each day add to my serenity. That includes spending time around the beauty of nature. I go outside each evening as a part of my healing therapy. Inhaling fresh air is refreshing and rejuvenating. I feel my spirit lift when I take deep breaths when I am out on my lanai or my porch. Newness springs from my mind and soul and makes me ready to say goodbye to the day behind me. I think about the day's experiences and focus on how I use them to extract more value from the next day. When I allow my mind to take in the quietness of the outdoors, it focuses on preparing for tomorrow's winds. Nature has a way of leading me to let go of things that are out of my control. It inspires me to look ahead. I gain a deep appreciation of my blessing when I spend a few moments each evening looking at the beautiful plants and flowers, trees and the sky above. Observing flowers and plants welcome the coolness of the night reminds me always to be thankful. It also reminds me to find beauty in each situation that I am a part of. Sometimes downtime is what my mind and body crave. Evening comes and I welcome it. Being closer to the setting sun allows me to focus on its meaning. Seeing one chapter close without the threat of a disaster is reassuring. It tells me that my worry is fruitless. I am urged to live in a positive anticipation. Today, the beauty and tranquility of the outdoors inspires me. When I open myself to the gifts of an ending day, my sense of purpose is renewed, and I wish the very same for you. If you'd like to take some questions to your journal, I have a list of them here for you that may help you to expand your time spent looking at the seasons changing for renewal and healing and spending some time out of doors. How do I recover from a particularly challenging day? What other daily activities allow me to achieve renewal? What benefits do I get from tending to flowers in my garden? What are some of the things that I learn about myself daily? How do I respond when someone criticizes my point of view? How can I connect more deeply so that these criticisms are not taken so personally? How does my mood or my moodiness impact my relationships with others? These questions can be a beautiful way to go a little deeper in your journal. Let yourself write 
as if you are just writing automatically. Let it flow. Let it come from within and out onto the paper. There can be gems in there that you were not even aware of that you were capable of thinking about. Maybe some things come through that are about you wanting to do more or less, bigger or smaller. This is just a time to reflect and renew and see what we can gain by asking ourselves simple questions and letting our inner self come out onto the paper, answering them. You don't need to save these if you don't like. You can just turn the page for tomorrow's journal writing, or you can rip them out and throw them away, whatever. Just ponder these questions beyond the thinking mind, letting things come out of us and onto the paper or computer document if you decide that's your way, is bigger than us just letting these thoughts or questions roll around in our minds. It's a beautiful practice to be able to move beyond the thinking, thinking, thinking. For some of us, that thinking gets us in trouble. So letting it come out on the paper, everything looks different. And maybe we don't get stuck in a rumination when we have our pen to paper. I hope that you will use this beautiful season when this is being recorded. It's spring, it's Easter time, and there's a lot of refreshment in the air of healing, of renewal, and of remembering who we are and touching base with nature every evening Maybe you can just give it a try. See what it brings to your heart and mind. I hope today's show is helpful for you. I hope you have a beautiful season ahead, whatever it is when you are listening to this. And feel free to share your thoughts and your questions with me anytime. This is the mail I love to receive. Anxiety Coaches Podcast at gmail.com. And now for today's quote. To sit in the shade on a fine day and look upon the verdant green hills is the most perfect refreshment. And that's from Jane Austen. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, Be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at theanxietycoachespodcast.com.